Back in my younger days, I was working for a grocery store chain in their deli as the manager. I had just been assigned to a new store to go manage, and before I went for the first day, I was told a little about the deli I would be going to. Most of the information was about the problems the department was having, and the only positive I was told was that the sales were up, or at least that's what they thought. Once I got to the store, I started poking around to see what the deal was. Sales for the last month were indeed up from the same time from the year before. However, as I did some more digging, I found that the same time the year before, the deli had been closed for repair for most of the month. Once I looked at the sales for the two years prior, I found the sales were down and I really had my work cut out for me. I was expected to grow the sales of the department and I would have been really hurting myself by not finding out what the real story was. I've always done business using the fun model of work. Fun standing for fundamental understanding of numbers. In the following tutorial, we will be looking at the following. Why analytics, benefits, smart goals and KPI, multiple channels, analytic tools, PWIC, and game. In the world today, small business owners are coming up against two very difficult conditions. First, Worldwide, businesses are being affected by economic hardships, placing even more importance upon consumers' free income. Second, the number of competitors in any given marketplace. Increased competition and a smaller amount of available income in the hands of the consumer makes it an imperative to have a solid brand and, op and to optimize your marketing efforts. One must find ways to stay ahead of the competition by setting themselves apart. Having an internet marketing plan in place is not enough. You need to know what the results you are getting and be able to make real-time adjustments as needed. Web Analytics provides the key to staying on top of your internet marketing efforts, giving you the needed information to make educated decisions as needed in real time, giving you the edge. Let's look at a few of the big reasons to use analytics. First off is the data. It can show us the voice of our consumers, what they are saying and doing. By listening to our customers, we can find out what they want and need and turn them into loyal customers. Analytics helps us be more competitive in our market space. The data shows us what is working and what is not so we can stay focused on results. To be a leader in your market space, you need to know what's going on and be able to make changes in real time. Analytics helps us increase our bottom line, having loyal customers, understanding what they want and need and how best to get it to them results in more sales. By using analytics in the long run, it saves money by lowering the cost of marketing. The more effective and targeted we can make our marketing means the less money we waste on marketing that just does not work. Also, also, knowing what marketing is working best at any given time means you can focus on that channel and spend less money on channels that are not as producing as well right now. In speaking with a friend of mine that is currently the director of digital marketing at Fluid Marketing, a local marketing company, I got the chance to pick his brain about web analytics and what truly matters. The two things that he kept coming back to is having clear goals and knowing what your key performance indicators are. It makes sense. You need to know where you want to go and what steps you will need to take to get there. With goal setting, you want to make sure they are called they are what's called SMART goals. SMART goals are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. If you make sure your goals and business objectives have these elements in them, then you have a great foundation to work from. Now, if you don't have SMART goals now, I would suggest stopping and start working on them now. Once you have done that and you've set up your key performance indicators, or in other words, the tasks that will need to be completed to reach your goals, then you are ready to continue with web analytics. Once you have your goals in place, you need to determine what media channels you will need to be gathering data from. Internet marketing is not just all about websites. You need to craft and control your entire online footprint. Social media channels like Facebook will be where you can see what your consumers are saying about you. Build credibility and engage the conversation in real time. SEO is, is important to ensure your website is easy to find and ranks well. 
Any money you spend on pay-per-click will need to be tracked so you know what kind of return on investment you are getting. Email is a powerful and cost-effective tool that to be used to keep in touch with your consumers and users interested in your brand. However, it needs to be done right. Also, any other channels like video, blogs, or viral elements need to be tracked and all work together harmoniously to maximize results and keep costs low. There are many analytic tools you can use, ranging from free do-it-yourself options all the way to paid options. Truth be told, what system or software you use is less important than actually using what you have and putting forth the effort. That being said, a few of the free tools can, you can use are Google Analytics and Yahoo Web Analytics. Both are free and have some great benefits depending on how well you use them. Another web tool that is up and coming is Pywik. Let's take a closer at Pywik and what it has to offer. Here is the Pywik dashboard. It is pretty straightforward and easily laid out. All of the widgets that you see here can be moved to any part of the site to be tailored for personal use. If you look at the main navigation bar, you can see that you can go directly to get information on visitors, actions, refers, and I like that they included a goal section, again making this tool customizable for ease of use. Now let's look at some of the widgets available for use. This first one gives you the big picture on visits over time so you can spot trends. The visitor map is useful to see where your traffic is coming from so you can target marketing efforts to geographical regions. The keyword list is also useful and gives you a snapshot of what keywords are working and which are not. Again, so you can target your marketing efforts. This, uh, this can also help you build out your keyword list to take advantage of any long tail opportunities. Visitor browser information is good to know so that you can see if any one browser is having problems viewing your site. It's also a good indicator of some of the trends and the personalities of, of the users. Visitors in real time shows you what's going on right now. However, don't get too lost staring at that widget because trends will be harder to see in the long run. Visitors by server time shows you how traffic is getting to your site and allows you to optimize server usage. The blog information is good to have with the rest to keep it all in one place. Length of visit will help you find out how engaging your content is and how much time the average user spends on the site to become customers. This information can be very useful in so many different ways once you put it all into the overall picture. Refer website will show you who is sending you traffic and can help you determine what relationships are the most valuable to you. The visitor tab gives you a report over time to help you identify trends and weaknesses to be fixed. Going to the refers tab lets you get a more in-depth view of the data that are available there. The goals tabs gives you the black and white on how well you are meeting your goals and it will help you easily determine what areas need more attention. Game is a methodology to help make use of the inside game from analytics. It stands for gather the information, analyze it, make a plan, and then finally execute the plan. It is designed to be used in a wash, rinse, repeat method, meaning you don't just do it once, but you do it over and over again. By having good game, you will keep moving your brand forward and reach your goals. I hope this quick overview of web analytics was helpful and gives you an idea of how it all works together. Start putting your game in place and go more in depth into the areas that you find troubling. Web analytics is a process and the more you put into them, the more you will gain. Make analytics a priority in your business and you will find success. Thank you for your time.